I'm at uh, case study 875 Mid North Coast. This is the first area that I'm using for my methodology to identify removed original forest trees from the 2000 data set. This is the imagery in the 1980s. This is the imagery in the 1990s. The forest has remained. This is the imagery in 2009 using the six maps layer. Uh, we can see the beginning of the clearing. This is the full conversion event in the 2010s, 2011s. I'll just put that layer on. The polygon. And here is the area now. Uh, there is one ret retained old tree and there is a small patch up in here. The rest has been cleared and I'll now go in and I will be systematically investigating uh, the presence or absence of these large trees using the 1980s as a guideline and basing what I'm looking for from the 1990s and then following them through on the various layers to determine presence or absence. Here is the first recording of a stump under this cluster of canopy trees. Here are the coordinates and then here is the imagery from 2009, the forestry uh, six maps. Uh, use this. This is six maps. Here is the stump measured at 30 centimetres at stump height over bark. Obviously there's no bark, uh, but nevertheless this is uh, still a large tree. This is 3.95 centimetres in the round or metres. 395 centimetres and 3950 millimetres. And then that circumference is around 126. Sorry, the diameter is around 126. At this point, we take a record of the tree, a photograph with the coordinates, the GPS receiver showing the increased uh, accuracy level, as well as the measurement. And we take that on this second iPad, which I will now do. Here is the photograph of uh, the stump. And then this is entered into Avenza using plot photos. I go to the last photo, I press done, and here is the record. And then I just proceed through the forest area, finding as many of these oversized trees as I can uh, as evidence of conversion. Come down from that logging slash to this large tree or stump, and this one is 3.96 meters in the round. That's about 125 centimeters diameter. You can uh, see that canopy in here. And so I'll go through the process of recording um, 
as I find trees of this size, I'll make this the large kind of long commentary area of the video, uh, just to show you the kind of surviving trees in that small retained area. This is a large blue gum, uh, original forest. This is what this area would have looked like. So this is a large cluster of trees, of large sized trees. I've walked through the area. Uh, there's a lot of very large logs of slash on the way. This one is 3.8 meters in the round or 121 centimeters diameter. I'll now take a record. This one also nearby is oversize at 3900. That's record number four. This is a relatively good indicator of the general accuracy of the technology I'm using. Here in 2009 is a large dominant canopy tree. Here it is in the 1990s. Here it is now. Uh, oversized tree uh, number five at 3920. This is large tree number six at 415 centimeters in the round or about 135 diameter. This is a good example of how you can't always rely on canopy. This may be the canopy of one tree, it may be the canopy of several trees. Doesn't look that exciting in the photography, but it's definitely there. This tree is absolutely massive. Um, it's actually a double, a double tree. It's over 6.6, nearly 6.7 meters in the round. You can see here is the large main stump, but it does carry on and is connected over here. This is record number eight. This is over 5070 centimetres or 161 centimetres diameter. Uh, here's the tree in the 1990s. Here it is in 2009, shortly before clearing. We'll go to 2011. This is 4520, this is tree number nine. That's over 140 centimeters diameter. Here it is, and here it is in 2009 as operations were underway. And here it is in 2011. See the logging slash wind road. Here is that windrow. I'm not even sure if they took anything from this tree as large as it was. This is tree number 10. was cut way, way above stump height to get the two crowns. It was a double crowner. There's one surviving offshoot here. This was a 
blue gum. This is what's called a re-sprout and is regularly re-cut when thinnings occur. That would kill this tree, what's left of it. This is tree stump number 11. Here's the canopy in the 1990s. 4320 in the round. This is tree stump number 12, or 710 oh in the round. So this is tree number 13, 4850, oh. and here is tree stump number 14. Three eight five zero in the round. So this is tree stump number fifteen. Again, three eight five zero. Obviously, all these have gone. I'm just going to head over to here and here, see if these are oversized and then we will finish with looking at the large surviving tree. So tree 15 was the last. Here is the survivor. Seven and a half meters in the round. Left I would imagine because it had a large rot through it. Maybe they decided it was too big.